If you're watching this video, you're probably really interested in how to take care of your feet because you're putting a lot of miles on, more than likely in boots. But today I'm going to show you how to use a couple of items and take care of your feet without any of the crazy voodoo hoodoo magic of needles and popping and don't pop it and put some more skin on it and let me tell you the real way to do it. So first, number one, proper footwear. So I swear by Lower Renegades, this is not solicited at all. They didn't give me these boots. I bought these with my own money. They're more than $200 a pair. They're leather lined, which is, does two things. So one, it cuts down on the stink, and two, they're not Gore-Tex. So Gore-Tex is horrible for footwear for hiking. And I know there's gonna be haters everywhere that come out and be like, oh no, Gore-Tex is the best thing since sliced bread. It's not, it doesn't work for me. So take that with a grain of salt. I don't know what your experience is, but in my experience, Gore-Tex and other membranes that are waterproof in boots do not let the right amount of moisture out of your boots so that they do not get blisters. I like the leather line. They get rid of more moisture on my feet than Gore-Tex boots do. So that's number one, start with a good pair of footwear. Number two, wool socks. So I like these thinner socks. Um, a buddy of mine recommended these to me. I was using Smart Wool, which are great socks too, uh, but I actually started using a thinner sock uh, when I did the, the Mammoth Sniper Challenge a couple years back because they were super lightweight. It wasn't a heavier sock and ounces really mattered in that event. So I went with the Darn Tough socks. These are, again, they're Hike Trek socks. Uh, highly recommended wool socks. So number two, one, proper footwear, two, wool socks, and three, have a foot care kit. So my foot care kit consists of really nothing more than this and an optional pair of shears. You really don't even need this. If you, if you listen to the advice that I'm going to share with you on this little kit, you don't need to take anything else other than this. So you really also just need time. So the good thing about uh, footwear and treating blisters is to treat the hot spots before they turn into blisters because you got moisture, heat, and friction. Those are the three things that cause blisters and the three things that will cause you to have a super bad day when you're hiking. So, the first, first of all, you need alcohol pads. If you've ever used alcohol on anything to dry out something, it does dry it out. So it'll absorb moisture or take away moisture in anything very quick. So that's why you need alcohol pads. As soon as you wipe down that area that's got the hot spot, so meaning you pull, you got a hot spot, you feel something in your feet, you're like, ah, it's kind of uncomfortable, pull over immediately, don't wait. If you have the opportunity to, just stop, take your shoe off, take your sock off, uh, let your foot air out a little bit, wipe the area that's a hot spot down with an alcohol pad, and then put some Luco tape on it. So Luco tape is a highly adhesive tape that looks very similar to like a sports tape, but it's not the same. Don't go using hockey tape and think that you're gonna do the same thing. You need Luco tape. There's no substitute for Luco tape out there that I know of personally. If you guys have any comments on that, throw it in the YouTube comments and I'd love to check it out because this is kind of the bee's knees in my opinion. And I pre-cut this stuff. So I have taken a whole roll in a waterproof bag before and I've taken a pair of shears out there because you need to not only cut the tape, which sometimes you can tear it, but really you need to round the edges. So if you look at these pre-cut strips that I carry in a little bag, just like this, I have three different sizes. So these are sizes pre-cut to my feet, not your feet, so your mileage may vary literally. So I have three different sizes. One is about like this, and this is to treat kind of a larger side of my foot or ball of my foot, and then I've got a smaller one did have a smaller one. There it is. Smaller one that can treat kind of a ball of the foot smaller area. And then I have a large piece that wraps around the back of my heel. And I have come up with these shapes or lengths basically based on the blisters that I've gotten, the hot spots that I've had to treat in my past. So as you start to do this and you're putting on miles in your boots, you'll start to know where your hot spots start developing for that footwear. Um, and it will happen. I mean, it happens no matter what you're doing. It just depends on how many miles you get into. Um, but really, you need to have some kind of Luco tape to protect your feet because as soon as you slap that Luco tape on with rounded edges, it's not going to catch. The rounded edges are very important because a sock or your shoe or something like that is going to catch that little edge and it's going to start to peel up. If it starts to peel up, that's bad news. So once Luco tape is down, it's pretty much 
it's pretty much solid. You don't have to take it off. You shouldn't have to replace it. Um, and I've done a 24 hour event before where I was walking the, almost the entire time. I did a, a carry the load event in Dallas and these came in very handy. So I was walking, I think we, we put on in excess of 30 miles, if not 40, I think it was in the 40s. However, I had this stuff with me and I was just fine. I did bring shears in a whole roll because there were other people with me and I wanted to share the love because, you know, lots of people were pulling over and lancing them and things like that. You don't need to do that. That's all you need. Um, alcohol pads. Then I also, I say that's all you need, but I also carry a little tube of Gold Bond with me. This is just repurposed from a, a bigger bottle of Gold Bond. This is a little container that I know won't spill or leak on me. And I put this on my feet when I have the opportunity to rest my feet. So if I pull over, I've got a chance to take off both of my boots, both of my socks. I'll put some gold band on my, the gold bond on my feet and dry them out a little bit. So those are the things that you need to properly treat your feet.